Hi guys, I had some questions today about how to do our assignments like our math homework. And I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can enter your answers in on the document. So if you see here, this is my student page. So this is what you would see if you were a student. I'm gonna go find my math homework for this week and I can find it on the stream. I can find it under classwork or I can find it in upcoming. I'm gonna to go to classwork. I'm gonna find it there. So I know I'm on week five. I'm gonna go down the list to find my week five math homework. And then I'm gonna click view assignment. Now, if you have not already started an assignment, you have to go and your page should look like this and you're gonna to need to click make a copy. And that is gonna create the document for you that you can work on so that everybody has their own document. So it's copying it for me and it's creating my assignment. Now it pops up and it should say your name here. So I'm gonna click on it. And now here is your version of your assignment. It already has, when it loads, it has the title for you already. And this is gonna be your math homework for this week. So we're gonna wait for it to load completely. And it'll always tell you what week you should be on and it'll give you a few um, instructions here. So as it's loading, I'm gonna go over. And if you look, my assignment has three pages here. You have your cover pages, which is what we're on now. We have our assignment page, which looks exactly like the normal one we'd get weekly in class. And then the last page is your answer page. So you're gonna use this page to then do the work on a separate piece of paper. So now that you know what you're looking at, I want us to try to enter in our answers. So first things first, this might be too small for me to see. If I'm having trouble and I can't see the words or the numbers, I'm going to go up here to where I see the magnifying glass. I'm going to click on the magnifying glass and I'm going to make sure it's yellow. When it's yellow, I'm going to click on the space that I want to see more clearly. So I'm going to click right here. Do you see how it's bringing that up? So now I can read it a lot better. So once you have it zoomed in enough, you need to go back and click up here, click the arrow, or else every time you click the page, it'll go farther and farther in. So whenever you're done with the magnifying glass, okay, it's yellow, so it's able to magnify. See my little cursor has a plus sign in the magnifying glass. I can also drop down and I can zoom in and I can zoom out, okay? Once you're done and the page looks how you want it, make sure you go up to the arrow so that it doesn't keep magnifying. So now my, my arrow looks a little different. It looks like an arrow with four points. But now I'm looking at number one. Number one is 342,704 plus 205,357. Now, when I did the work on the separate sheet of paper, my answer came to be 548,061. So there's two ways I can do this. The easiest way is to just go over here, find my answer sheet, find Monday number one, because that's the one I was working on, and I'm gonna click right in that area. And now, oops, now my cursor has come up and I have a blinking uh, black line. Now I can type my number in there and my answer was 548,000 comma zero 061. And that's all I have to do. And I'm gonna an enter in my answers there. Now, the other way, if you're feeling very confident, you can go back up here and what you can do is you can create a text box in the area where the answer would go and type your answer. Now, doing it just on the answer sheet right here, completely fine. If you're feeling brave, you can go ahead and you're going to click this little box right here that says text box. It's a T inside a box. You're going to go ahead and click it. And now you have like a plus sign. What you're going to do is you're going to create a box. You're going to click with one finger and then pull with the other on the keypad. And that creates your text box. Now here you can type inside it. So what was my answer? It was 548,061. And now I have my answer. Now if I click anywhere else outside the text box, it'll disappear and you can just see what you typed.
Now, maybe you like it super aligned. If you want to move what you typed, just go ahead and click back on it and the box will appear, appear again. Now, if I move, you can see right now my, my arrow, my cursor is just that little line. If I move it up onto the blue line of my text box, I can click down with one finger and then move it around with the other while the other one still stays clicked down. And I can move my answer so that it's a little bit more centered, okay? So let's look over here. Let's look on Tuesday. Now, what if I wanna answer right here? I can either say eight times six, I know that's 48. So I can either go down and find Tuesday number two, click and make sure I can double click. I gotta make sure, click until you get that flashing black line. And I can go space 48. Then I can be done and have it on my answer sheet. But if I'm feeling brave, I can go back to my worksheet. I'm gonna find that text box again. And I'm going to click down with one finger, hold it down, and then drag out a box with the other finger while the first finger is still clicked. And then I let go. And there's my text box. And my answer was eight times six is 48. Now I'm gonna click away from it, anywhere else on the page away from it, and my text box will disappear. Now, my 48 isn't center. I want to move it. So I'm going to click right on that 48 and my text box is going to appear. I'm going to move up onto the blue line. I'm going to click down with one finger and with the other finger while the first one's still clicked down, I'm going to move my box a little bit until it's where I want it to be. And that looks like the 48's on the line properly. So then I'm going to click out and now my answer is where it needs to be. I hope this helped. Remember, you can always just do your work on a separate page and click into anywhere that you want to put a new answer on your answer sheet. Or you can be super brave and create your text box that's right next to the arrow, the T in the box. Click on your text box, click down with one finger, keep it clicked, and then drag with the other one to create your text box. All right, guys, let's see if we can do this with another assignment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click out of this one. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to find another assignment that we can practice on. Let's see. What about my... Let's go to my ELD activities. Now, I've already started this assignment, so I'm just going to click into it. But remember to make a copy in your assignment if you need to, if it hasn't already been started. All right, let's see. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Wednesday's work. Now, again, it might be a little too small for me to see. I need to zoom in. I'm going to go up to the magnifying glass up here. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click the area that I need to zoom in on. Now, I can scroll up and scroll down, but this looks good. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to click my arrow so that I don't keep zooming in. Okay, directions. Use the words more or most to complete the sentence below. Use the examples above to help. Oh, there's examples above. All right, so I need to use more or most. Those are my options. So you can see the blank, beautiful fish at the coral reef. I can see the most or I can see more. Let's see. You can see the more beautiful fish at the coral reef, or you can see the most beautiful fish at the coral reef. I think most is the right answer. So obviously they want me to put my answer here. Now there's a box. Do you see how when I move, my cursor changes? Inside the box, it's the, arrow, the four arrows. Outside the box, it's just a single arrow. When I get that four arrows, it means that there's a text box there already. So I can go ahead and click on it knowing that there's already a text box there. So it's already there for me, but let me start typing. What was my answer? See the most, oh, and my answer is already coming up, most. And then I'm gonna click out of that text box and my answer's right there. Now I can read that, but maybe you're like me and you want it to be perfectly aligned. You just click back onto the word, your text box appears, Make sure you get the four arrows to move it. You can't move it with just the one arrow. You can't move it with just the cursor. You have to have the four arrows to be able to move your text box. So we're gonna move that a little bit up and over. No, it's too high. 
That looks good. Let me check. I'm going to click anywhere outside my text box. Mm, still needs to go up a little bit. Let's see. All right, that looks good to me. So I'm good there. Let's see if I can give you, let's look at the next page. All right. So I want to write an answer here and I see, see how my arrow changes. My arrow here tells me you can't really do anything. Once I get that four arrow, it means that there's a text box there. So let me click and here's my text box. It's ready for me. Now, if I want to start my answer, I'm going to click down, double click to get your cursor. Now, is your cursor where you want it to be for your answer? If we start typing, a reef is a place where you can see a lot of fish, period. Now, can I read that right now? It's kind of overlapping on the other words. So I want to move it so that I can really see my words. So I'm going to make sure that I go over the blue line with my four arrows. And now I'm going to click down with one finger, keep it clicked, and then drag with the other. And I'm going to see if I can realign my work. Okay, so that looks a little better. Now my text box is going off the page, but what matters is that my words are lined up so that somebody reading it can actually read it now. Now you'll notice that it's giving you a capital letter here. It's automatically giving you a capital letter because it thinks it's the beginning of the sentence. It doesn't know that we've already given you the sentence. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to click right next to the Y where I wanted my cursor to be. I'm going to delete the Y and I'm going to click it again to give me the lowercase Y. Now let's click out and see if it corrects itself. Nope. All right. Now, can you see that the text box has an outline here and it moved it from being around it way over here? Well, I as a teacher don't really care that it looks a little funny as long as I can read it, right? Now, let's go back and see if we can do this a different way. If this is bothering you a lot, that the box is not around the question, then let's see if we can do it a different way. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to change what I did. Okay, so now I had, I had typed my answer and I can't really read it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to move this down a little bit so that I can really see what I'm writing. Now, is my sentence going to connect with the rest of the sentence up here? No, probably not. I'm probably not going to be able to do that unless I made a bunch of spaces. I'm holding down the space bar now to go over to where I can read it. A reef is a place where you can see a lot of fish, period. Again, we have that U that's capitalized when really it's the middle of the sentence. So let's go back and see if we can correct that. Now, this is totally acceptable as well. If you were at the beginning, I'm just showing you, you had typed and you're saying, I can't read that. If you want to just click at the beginning of where you typed and hit enter or return, just so it brings it down so it's off of those words, that's totally fine too. And I'll accept any way that you do it. If the text box, if this box thing moved way over here, but it's aligned, that's fine. If you spaced it out to where you just hold down the space bar and move it over so that it's connected, totally fine. If you just hit space, and it's lower down, totally fine. If you would like to write your own sentence, so you would have started your text box right here. If you wrote, said, okay, I'm gonna write my own sentence. I'm just gonna copy what it said. A reef is a place where there is a lot of fish. That also works if you still have the sentence starter that they gave you if you just typed it over again. Okay, I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any further questions or any other videos you would like to help me, you would like me to make to help you. Thanks guys.